Welcome back to another video. This is code for us around 895 div3 and we are going to solve the fourth uh, problem plus minus permutation. So they are telling that you have three integers n, x and y and uh, you have a permutation that is p1 till pn. It's like uh, permutation is generally an arrangement of numbers. In this question permutation is always from 1 to n. So they are calling a score of a permutation like it is the sum of pi for all indices i divisible by x minus the sum of pi for all divis uh, for all indices i divisible by y. We need to find the maximum possible score among all permutations of length n. Some of you may understand, some of you may not understand. So for that, let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's take this example: two six one seven five four three. So uh, this is the example that is two six one seven five four three. So these are all the values. n value is 7. As you see in the question, they also told that x value is 2 and y value is 3. When they tell indices in the question, it's not starting from 0. It always starts from 1. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are all the indices and these are all the corresponding values. Now what did they say? n equal to 7 means from 1 to 7, it's a permutation. So this is a 1 to 7. That's They took some permutation. For x equal to 2 means you need to take all indices that are divisible by x. So in this case, 2 is divisible, 4 is divisible and 6 is divisible. So you take the corresponding values and find the sum of it. That is 6 plus 7 plus 4. Okay, this is for x. You need to subtract the same operation with y. For y, you have to take 3 and 6. 3 and 6 are both divisible by 3. So you take the corresponding values here for 1 plus 4. Okay. Now you need to find the sum of this 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 7 is 17 minus 5 and that is 12. They told in the question that 12 is the maximum possible value that is possible for any arrangement uh, for the uh, for a particular arrangement or a particular permutation of n. Now uh, we need to derive like what is happening. They first what did they say they took all the indices that are divisible took the corresponding values of x all the indices that are divisible by y took the corresponding values of y. Whenever we are subtracting two numbers, let's say if we are subtracting two numbers a minus b, in order to get a maximum value, the value of a should be maximum possible and the value of b should be minimum possible, right? So maximum value, so this should be the maximum value possible and b should be the minimum value that is possible here. So that we understood. Now, do I have to try for all permutations and check for this? If you do that, time limit gets exceeded and that is not possible. So what do we do? We just take the sorted sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are all the values. Okay, I'm not talking about the index. In this case, uh, we want to arrange these numbers. So first of all, for x equal to 2, do I know how many indices are divisible by 2 for a total number of like 7 numbers? So I can say that n by x numbers, right? 7 by 2. I say that there are three values. There are three indices that are divisible by 2. So what are these three indices? 2, 4, 6 are divisible. Now I need to put that put these numbers here. In order to get maximum values, I need to take the maximum numbers in the sorted sequence. So I can take 7, 6, 5, anything I can put here. Okay. Next. For similarly, I want to know the number of uh, indices that are divisible by y is n by y, 7 by 3. I say that there are two indices that are divisible by y. What is that? 3 and 6. So in order to make it minimum, for we got this is three values, right? And for in order to make it minimum, I take the first two values in a sorted sequence. So what is the answer? It is 5 plus 6 plus 7 minus 1 plus 2. How much we are getting? This is 18 minus 3. That is 15. But 15 is wrong here. 12 is the maximum possible. What did we mess up here? Let's try to understand. So 7, 6, 5, I already fixed it. But we did not fix for the y values, right? 1 and 2. So let's push, let's fix 1 here. And let's fix 2 here for 6. Okay. But the problem is 2 belongs to y and 5 also belongs to x. So both of them are there. We can fix only one number in that particular position. What is that ideal number? So that is something we need to find out. So what is what is happening in order to make it maximum? I kept the max as I told earlier, a is maximum possible here. So here also if I want to make it maximum possible, 1 plus I can take some number from here, right? I am not taking this, uh, this number. So I am taking some number from uh, the left side because left side should be same. So I take uh, 7 here. Let's see. 5 plus 6 plus 7 is how much? 18 minus 8. That is 10. Oh, it went 2 down. So in order to make it ideal condition, we have to take the minimum number because 7 is a very high number. 6 is also a very high number. We want to compromise on one number. 
to get cancelled so that is 5 so what do we do 6 plus 7 5 plus 6 plus 7 minus 1 plus 5 this 5 and this 5 gets cancelled because of brackets 6 plus 7 is 13 minus 1 and that is 12 see here 4 and 4 got cancelled actually even if you give 5 and 5 it's cancelled these are the matters they just added 4 to get confused but ideally this is the answer now we we are okay with uh, finding number of uh, uh, numbers possible with x and number of uh, indices possible with y we will take corresponding highest values and the minimum values and all but how do we find these numbers it can happen that there are multiple numbers that can be coming right what is the specialty of this index so the index 6 uh, like divides 2 and divides 3 also so 2 is a factor of 6 3 is a factor of 6 it uh, 2 divides 6 3 divides 6 6 is a multiple of 2 6 is a multiple of 3 right there are many terms we can use here suppose if there are like 100 numbers 6 sixth index is there 12th index also divides 2 3 24 also divides 2 3 uh, 60 also divides 2 3 right so we need to subtract all of this why are we subtracting the one in it belongs to x and it belongs to y so if we subtract it it automatically gets cancelled we don't want to complicate it we can just ignore because since it is cancelling so since 6 is a multiple of 2 and 3 and it can come on the future also if there are a lot of numbers we say that uh, it is a common multiple so 2 and 3 is a common multiple of 6 in order to find uh, what is the least common multiple we say that 6 is the LCM of 2 and 3 so how do we find LCM is there is a very famous formula that is a into b will be lcm of a b into gcd of a b sorry a comma b okay now in order to find lcm of a b we say that you simply have to put a b by gcd of a b uh, a comma b i did nothing i brought this gcd here or you divide gcd on both sides so you have an inbuilt function for gcd or you can just write down the gcd function and you have a multiplied by b so uh, these both are there you will find the lcm of these numbers so lcm you will anyway get as 6 but as i told earlier there can be multiple lcms right 6 12 24 many indices can come so how many lcms can come that is nothing but l by lcm gives the total number of uh, common uh, multiples of 2 and 3 common lcms that are there how many lcm times it's coming as I told earlier, since LCM gets cancelled on both sides, LCM gets cancelled on both sides, what should I do? I should do total number of in, uh, indices divisible by x minus total number of LCMs. Similarly, total number of uh, indices divisible by y minus total number of LCMs that are possible. There are n by LCM indices that are, divide, that are divisible by both 2 and 3. So these are the numbers. So n by x minus n by LCM is what? In this case, we got n by x as 3, n by LCM is 1. So there are two numbers. So what are those two numbers? Those two numbers are the highest possible value, 6 plus 7. 5 got cancelled, if you remember. Similarly, for n by y is 2 minus 1, it is one number only. Earlier it was 1, 2, but since 5 got cancelled, only one number is left. Okay, so now uh, we can call this as a1 and let's call this as b1 for understanding purpose. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? In order to find the sum of these two numbers, because 6 plus 7 is needed, right? This is the final answer that we are close to the final answer. So if you want to find the sum of two numbers, you don't have to iterate all of this. There is a famous formula. If you want to find the sum of 1 to n numbers, it is n. Uh, so it is n into n plus 1 n plus 1 divided by 2 similarly if you want to find the sum of 6 7 you take the sum of all of these numbers and sum of all of these numbers so this number you know now this is still n so it is n into n plus 1 divided by 2 minus what is this 1 to 5 that is n minus 2 numbers so what are these two this is nothing but a1 so that is n minus a1 into n minus a1 uh, plus 1 divided by 2 uh, what did how did we get this if we take the sum of all of this and subtract the sum of uh, 1 to 5 that is we are reducing the two numbers these two numbers we needed so we are subtracting from 1 to 7 and 1 to 5 we get the sum of these two numbers correct if it's an arrow i am subtracting the arrow length here so this sum we got 6 plus 7 so this is the set x minus what is for y if you think properly uh, we know that n by y minus n by LCM gives you total number of numbers that are available for y. So the candidates of y will be earlier it was 1, 2, 
for n by lcm game it is only one number so one number so if any thing that is from 1 to n we just have to do n into n plus 1 by 2 so in this case there are b1 numbers you just have to do b1 into b1 plus 1 divided by 2 and we got the answer so let's understand this again so what did we do uh, we got a set of numbers here we just told that uh, we just told that in a sorted sequence the position does not matter we take the highest value the sub in a subtraction the highest value should be on the left and lowest value should be on the right so we took the maximum possible values and the minimum possible values for both of them and then subtracted then uh, we understood that there is an overlap that is happening that is the lcm of both of the numbers so we don't have to matter lcm because if we add lcm on both of the sides it gets cancelled so we have to do uh, total number minus uh, n by lcm and total number of y minus n by lcm we are cancelling the lcms on that so once we get the total number we need to know the sum of these two numbers sum of these two numbers is for, for x it is 1 till n n into n plus 1 by 2 minus n minus the balance so if we subtract both of them we get the value of x and for y it is simple starting from 1 to n how much numbers for y it is possible let's understand this with the help of the code again so as i explained earlier there are uh, n by x numbers available with x as the divisor y as the divisor n by y we got the lcm then we got n by lcm here to find the number of lcms that are available in the entire array you subtract both of them because that is how uh, getting cancelled on both of the sides then you do sum of n minus sum of minus a1 you get this value minus sum of b1 this value how many numbers are divisible by y so uh, this solution you can uh, refer here i'll also link it in the description and please let me know in the comments what do you feel about the video until then see you